what's going on guys Lazarus here hope you guys are having a wonderful day thank you so much for tuning in I got a great video here for you um, this is regarding Dante audio networking on an Apple M1 laptop and uh, this is my new MacBook Pro I'll show you right here I just bought this and the whole the community is obviously wanting to have Dante integrated with the new Apple silica why does it not work I don't know so I I decided to take out uh, take on the adventure and uh, figure out if it's actually working or not because there's not many recent videos of uh, M1 computers working with Dante so thank you so much if you have questions if you're having success with Dante please leave a comment let me know what you guys are doing in your guys is either church or uh, venues um, on working with Dante and if it's working for you all right guys please like comment subscribe right now and cue the intro all right guys so um, as you can see there is not many videos of Dante working with uh, M1 uh, chips so and if we go to the Dante website this is the the only update that we have Dante software on uh, Mac operating system Big Sur and Apple M1 based computers in November 2020 Apple announced both the release of Mac operating system Big Sur and new Mac computers that employ Apple Silica, which is the M1 chip that everybody's uh, getting. They're amazing computers. They're strong. They can do a lot um, of processing, which is why we're buying these computers. You know, Dante Controller, Dante Virtual Sound Card, and Dante Via are now officially supported on Intel-based Macs running Bixer. So... If you have an Apple laptop that has like the i7 or the i9, you're 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 coasting. You should be able to run uh, uh, Dante's uh, product line with with ease. But the latest update to the Dante controller formerly supports Apple M1. So the controller was where you used to you know do the subscriptions and uh, basically tell what's transmitting to what 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 where you want to receive the audio to so and it's showing here that it's supported with you know rosetta uh, uh, software only use for the apple m1 uh computers dante virtual uh, sound card requires more significant work and it's not expected to work till late 2021 we're in august 20 today's august 23rd and we still haven't really seen an update on this i'm on a few forums uh facebook groups and i still haven't seen any dedicated support for the m1 confirmation that dante via is also m1 ready requires for uh validation and i wanted to test this because there was no other uh there was no videos out there um support showing support or showing that it's working and I want to show you guys here today. So what I did, I, uh, I I run production and a music director at my church. So today, uh, not today, Sunday, I was running uh, audio. And basically right now, I am testing our, uh, our Dante system that we want to implement. I want to show you that Dante Via is working. Let me pause this and just kind of show you. So I'm running Studio One in the background. I'm sending signal from the our Behringer X32 through our, our network switch, and the Ethernet cable is hooked up to a dongle that goes on the side of here of the of the laptop. All right, so you see that my MacBook Pro recognizes the X32 that we're using, and my my name here for my laptop um, the only downside for Dante via especially on the DAW side which is your digital audio workstation 
you're limited to 16 channels with the with uh, Dante virtual sound card if you're running on the Intel based uh, uh, laptops or computers you're basically uncapped up to what what the, uh, the 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 limits are so if you wanted to do 32 ins and outs for the x32 you can do that this is the only downside of Dante via working with m1 right now it's limited to only the 16 channels but it's working that's a great thing so if you're looking for a video for confirmation that it's working we can it's 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 there let's bring up the other video so you see my my uh i had to do i had to get creative with my my routing because obviously what we're trying to do here at this church is send the audio mix in the laptop which this can handle the processing no problem whatsoever so here i was testing to make sure that the signals signals that i'm sending to the computer are are actually working and they are so um our pastor at the time was speaking so you'll see here his name's johnny and he's his signals working and basically i routed a drum bus to consolidate the eight different microphones that we used to two different to two channels and then the front of house signals which is pro presenter um our laptop our, our not laptop our ipad um our pads that we use um all come through here and they're basically pre just one level throughout the whole throughout the whole service so we have the vocalist we have guitar acoustic guitar we have backtracks here um our pastor we have a congregation mic and so you had to get really pick and choose what do you want to receive what do you want to mix in the box and it's working guys so i'm so glad that i was able to um figure this stuff out just because again there wasn't much content out there showing that it's working here's my macbook pro it's showing up um as a receiver you can see i basically just went down the line one to one and the on the x32 i basically had to do the routing to make sure that it matches what i have going on here so i will say this just in case um you guys are having issues so i have one of these dongles there's this dongle that i use here and for some reason i don't know it might be something that i'm doing the ethernet port on this dongle was not working on this second thunderbolt and this is a brand new computer and i'm not sure if it has to do something how the computers are hardwired or whatnot so i had to put the dongle on the upper one here and the power over here because also the when you hook up the power here to this dongle it wasn't working properly i don't know if that's an issue with my dongle i don't know if that's actual uh the way that it, it, it needs to be worked um i'm unfamiliar if you guys know please let me know on the on the bottom um let me know if you guys are well versed on the ethernet capability of apple through thunderbolt there you go dante via works with mac macbook pros m1 apple silicon um it works really good there's no static there's no interference i had i didn't experience any uh any issues wh while i was using it are you guys having success with dante via have you guys had success with Dante's virtual sound card with the M1 laptops? If you have, please let me know. Um, I like to hear from you. And if you thinking about doing content on this stuff, I would seriously recommend because there's a whole community out there 
looking for this type of content because I know I was looking for it myself. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I will check you guys out later. Like, comment, subscribe, please.